Hello everyone and welcome back to Unforgotten Tech. My name is Gregory Kraus and today we're going to be talking about lifting vehicles. We're going to be talking about the difference between unibody and body on frame vehicles, the equipment used to lift vehicles, the points at where we will lift vehicles with, and last we'll be going over a tutorial on how to lift a vehicle using a floor jack and a two post lift. Now before we get started, I would like to know what kind of content you guys are looking for out there. So if you could leave that in the comments below and also make sure that you're subscribed and you have that notification bell hit so that way you never miss any content. Now before we can start lifting vehicles, we need to find out where the lift points are on the vehicle. Most light and medium vehicles these days will use a unibody frame and will have what's called a pinch weld along the side of the vehicle. Normally on this pinch weld, there'll be four reinforced areas designed to lift and hold the vehicle near the front and rear tires. On vehicles with body on frame, the lift points will differ. We will be lifting these vehicles using a point such as the rear differential or part of the frame. Then we will rest the vehicle on the frame. We will want to make sure that this part of the vehicle is on the flat part of the frame before it slopes off. When lifting a vehicle, there are several types of jacks and lifts. The first one we will cover here is the emergency jack commonly found in the trunk or rear of the vehicle. However, not all vehicles have emergency jacks or spare tires. This is important to know before you start driving just in case of emergency. This is a floor jack for emergencies and should not be trusted past that. Next we have a floor hydraulic jack. There are several types such as low profile, heavy duty that can span weight limits of one ton to over four tons. These are great for lifting vehicles in your own garage or outside of the shop. If you are questioning whether or not your equipment can support your vehicle, you can look here on the door jam for the vehicle safety certificate label. Under GVWR or gross vehicle weight rating, you will see the total weight of this vehicle is 3,820 pounds. Looks like this is well below our lifting equipment's weight limit, so we can continue. Anytime you are performing any type of work on the ground level, you should support the vehicle on safety jack stands instead of using the floor jack. Safety jack stands come in a variety of shape, sizes, and weight limits depending on your needs. The last common lift you'll find is the four post drive up lift or an alignment rack. You can see more about alignment lifts on my previous video, how to perform an alignment. For the job of lifting the vehicle, we'll need the following PPE, safety glasses, closed toed shoes, and be free of loose hair, clothing, and jewelry. The equipment we're going to be using today is the floor jack, safety floor jack stand, tire chocks, and a two post lift. All right, now that we know the equipment used to lift and support a vehicle and the proper lift points on a vehicle, let's go over how to properly lift and hoist a vehicle. The first step in lifting a vehicle using a floor jack is we want to make sure that we're on a flat and secure surface. We want to avoid surfaces such as grass or dirt as the jack or the jack stands can sink into it. Next, we will place tire chocks on the opposite side of the vehicle of the tire we are trying to lift. Most floor jacks have the same controls. Turn the jack handle clockwise to engage, pump the handle up and down to lift the arm, then you can rotate the jack handle counterclockwise to lower the arm. Next, we will find a secure lift point on the vehicle. To lift the front of the vehicle, we will use the tow hook as a secure lift point. We want to avoid areas such as the radiator, oil pan, and any non-reinforced areas as you can cause damage to the vehicle. In the rear of the vehicle, we can use the dead axle. We want to avoid the gas tank and the spare tire area so we don't damage these as well. We will then raise the vehicle above the desired height of the safety jack stand. Now we will slowly lower the vehicle onto the safety jack stand. Then we will give the vehicle a slight shake, making sure the vehicle is secure. At this point, you can work on the vehicle safely or repeat the process to lift more of the vehicle into the air. Now let's go over how to properly use a two post vehicle lift. To properly raise a vehicle on the lift, we will need a guide to safely bring the vehicle into the bay. Depending on the length of the vehicle, you may place the driver front tire in front of, behind, or right in the middle of the yellow guide plate. 
We will then place lift arms directly center and below the lift points. To operate the lift, we will use the green button to raise the vehicle. The black control handle on the right is to lower the vehicle, and the black control handle on the left is to release the locks. When releasing the locks, you must hold down the left handle completely and before you start lowering the vehicle. Then we will lift the vehicle about two inches off the ground, then shake the vehicle to make sure it is secure on the lift. If it is questionable at all, lower the vehicle and reset the lift. We will then lift the vehicle up to the desired height, then lower it on the locks. At this point, we can now safely work on the vehicle. Note that if you are removing a large component such as an engine, you may need to support the rear of the vehicle using a jack support post as weight will shift on the vehicle. In order to lower the vehicle, we will have to raise the vehicle off the locks about an inch or two before we pull the release lever and then lower the vehicle. Then we want to make sure to reset all the arms back in their starting position. All right, so just to recap, today we learned how to properly lift a vehicle. We learned about the equipment used to lift and support a vehicle. We learned about where the lift points are. And then finally, we went over a tutorial on how to properly lift a vehicle using a floor jack and a two post above ground lift. Well, my name is Gregory Krause from Unforgotten Tech. I want to thank all of you for joining us today. And remember, be strong, believe, be unforgotten.